let's have a look at how we're going to connect it to our breadboard and now how we connect our LEDs to the Arduino Uno. So as you can see here, we've got three LEDs, our red, yellow, green, and then we have our resistor to limit the current. So the resistors are 220 ohms, which is in your kit. So that's just the strength of the resistance. And the higher the resistance, as we know through our tutorials, the lower the current, the less bright our LED will be. So this is a good, good resistor for these LEDs. Now let's see how we're going to connect it. First thing we do is connect our ground to our blue part of our breadboard. So we know this side here goes left to right and in the middle goes top to bottom connection wise. We've spoken about this in our breadboard tutorial. If you've not watched our breadboard, breadboard tutorial yet, go watch it. It's on the main page of the learning channel. Then we connect our resistor in the ground and then that goes to the short leg of LED. And then our long leg, which is the positive leg, goes back to a pin in the Arduino Uno. And in these pins, we chose 10, 7, 4. No real reason. You can use any of the digital output pins or digital pins. So from 0 to 13, you can use any pins you want. But you'll see in the program that we point towards these pins. So in our code, we'll have a 10, we'll have a 7 and a 4. So if you want to change it, just remember to change it in the code later on. And then we do the same for each LED. So each LED will have a resistor from ground and then the long leg back to our Arduino. So you'll see it's the same for each one. So if you think about this, the current will make high here. So our current will flow through this wire, through this wire into the LED and then out there back to ground. So that's how our current's going to flow in this direction. So current always flows from positive to negative. So that that's what happens when you switch on the LED. So if we make pin 4 high, the current will flow from here in the LED back there and then through there back to ground. So this ground point is my whole ground point. And that is how easy it's to connect these three LEDs. Now let's look at the code and program this and let's see how the hardware and software aligns with the pin numbering. So that's very important when you connect electronics to the Arduino Uno. These numbers have to link to your code. We'll see that now in the next sec section. Now that we build it on our breadboard, we've got the LEDs connected with the resistors and connected to our specific pins on our Arduino Uno. We're going to look at the code now. So if you've been following our tutorials, you'll remember that we in the Arduino code, we have the setup and we have the loop. So let's have a look at the setup. The setup, as we spoke about, we start off by giving our pin numbers on the Arduino Uno real names that we can understand throughout the programming so that later on when you see red LED, you know it's for the red LED. And when you see 10, you, you need to remember, okay, what was 10 for? Was it for red LED, blue LED? Who knows? So that's what we do at the beginning. We create an int, an integer, a number between minus 32,000 to plus 32,000 and we say red LED is equal to 10. So as you remember with the breadboard, we connected our red LED to pin 10, we connected our yellow LED to pin 7, and we connected our green LED to pin 4. So this is what it represents. It represents the real hardware that you just built. And then what we have to do in the setup is create the LED as an output. So we change the mo mode to output for the red, yellow, and green. So we can create you can change the state of the pin, either make it an output or input by using pin mode. We'll be doing this a lot when we start off with Arduino codes. We did this in the previous tutorial and we just do it again, but this time a bit different. Now let us look at our loop function. So the Arduino Uno or the Arduino code has a setup where you set up the pins, output, input, and then we've got the loop where the program magic happens. So this is where you write your program, and this is where you're going to turn on the LEDs, off the LEDs. So if you remember in tutorial 2, where we did the blinking LED, we spoke about digital write, writing a high to a pin so that LED can go on, and writing low to a pin to the LED goes off. Now we're going to expand that a bit and introduce some new terms. So the first thing we want to do is switch on the green LED. And how we do that is we say digital write, green LED, make it high. So we spoke about digital write. Digital write just makes your, your pin physically on your Arduino Uno, where we put the wire in, high or low, depending if you say high or low. So the first thing we do is say we green LED, which is pin 4, 
you can see green LED is pin 4, pin 4 on my hardware was also green. And then we delay for 5 seconds. So delay 5000 is in milliseconds and 5000 milliseconds is seconds, 5 seconds. And then we make it low. So this part of the code would just make my green LED high, keep it high for 5 seconds, keep it on for 5 seconds and turn it off again. We know the loop goes from top to bottom, so we'll do this code first and then run its way down. Now we want to look at how we get the yellow LED blinking because we want to have it on, off, on, off. So it's not the same as the green, we have it on for five seconds and then off. So this is a bit different and this is a new thing we're going to introduce and teach you guys called the for loop. So where will we use the for loop? Like I mentioned is code will always run from top down to bottom. But what happens if I want to run a certain piece of code for a longer period of time? That means I don't want it to go down, I want it to stay here for a while. And that's exactly what a for loop is. So if you look here, this part here, a for loop is a piece of code you can write to tell your program to stay there for a little longer. So for a certain amount of time, do that loop and not the main loop. That's why we call it a for loop. So here you can see for some values here. So what this means is four, zero, less than three, do this loop. So it means from zero, my i is equal to zero. I keep increasing my i every time the loop gets completed. So what I mean by that is, let's take it from the beginning. First thing we'll do is delay 500 milliseconds, which is the same as 0.5 seconds. Then we're gonna make the LED high then we're going to keep it high for 0.5 seconds and then we can turn it low. But instead of carrying on, we've got a 4, so it will go back to the top. So when it finishes this one loop, so when it goes top to bottom the first time, it will increase the I. So my I starts at 0, so the next time it goes up, my I will be equal to 1. And it will keep going that until my I is more than 2. So I less than 3 is my criteria so if i is 3 then my i is not less than 3 anymore so i is 0 so let's look at it slowly so at the beginning i is equal to 0 and it goes through the code once then it goes to the top my i increases plus plus then my i is equal to 1 and it goes again at plus plus i is then equal to 2 and then it goes again and then increase again so then i is equal to three but my statement says do this while or only if i is less than three not equal less so when i is equal to three it's not less than three it will go out of this loop and carry on here then we'll be back here that's why this piece of code will let your LED blink three times. Then we went to, then we out the loop and we go to the next part, which is similar to the top part. We just add an extra delay of 0.5 seconds. We make the red LED high and then we wait for five seconds. This will keep the red LED on for five seconds and then we only turn it off. Then after this, it will go back to the top and repeat this process until we turn off our Arduino Uno. So now you can add it all together, you can add the setup and loop together, upload it to your Arduino Uno and see the effect of your traffic, traffic light. So you'll see the green on, the yellow flashing and the red on and in that sequence like we explained in the code. Guys, build it, let me know how it went, feel free to send us some pictures, email it to us, WhatsApp to us, it doesn't matter. It'd be great to see you guys building this and show me you guys how it worked. If there's ever any questions, guys, please let me know. I'm here to help. Until the next tutorial.